I'm going to walk you through how I wash wool. I've had several questions about how I do it, and so I recorded this little video the other day just to show you the steps I take when I'm washing a fleece. Now in this video, we're just doing a few locks in a small sink and in a small container, but it would be the same if I were doing a pound of fleece or a larger fleece. Now we always start, or I always start with a cold water soap, and that's all it is. Cold tap water and the fleece, enough to give it room to sink and, and release the dirt and the sweat and the lanolin. And you'll see already how the water has started to change color, how it's releasing some of that dirt in the tips and some of the lanolin. I like to think of it as softening the fleece up, opening it up. I was given this tip many years ago by a breeder of fine merino wool and I've used it ever since. I wouldn't necessarily use this on like alpaca or llama, but in any other wool, that's what I do. Now our second step is going to be to change to very hot water and add soap. But you can see, this is just the cold water soap water. I'm lifting the fleece out now, and you can see the amount of dirt and grime that's in the water there. That's just the cold water soak. Sorry about the reflection of the bathroom light, but I think you can also see that there's a little bit of a sheen from the lanolin as well as the dirt that's in the water there. Now I just use a dish soap and you have to look for the non-concentrated soap. You don't want the concentrate or the bleach or any of the additives like that. So something like a simple Dawn Blue liquid, or I prefer the Palmolive Green brand of dish soap, but that's getting harder to find. So something that you can use like that. You can see I'm adding a few drops and just add it till the water is a little bit discolored and it feels slippery on your fingertips. Some of that will be trial and error, you'll learn. And now the soaked locks go back into that hot water and that water really is very hot. I have pretty tough hands. Um, degrees, I don't know. And then I cover it with something. This is an old breadboard to keep the heat in. And we go for about 10 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes. You don't want the water to cool down. So just kind of keep checking it to be sure the water is still hot. And here you can see that just in that 10 minutes of soak in the very hot soapy water, how the fiber is continuing to clean. But really, most of the dirt came out in that cold water soak. You'll see a slight murkiness of the water, cloudiness of the water, but nothing compared to what that cold water soak was. So there again, that's that first hot water wash. So now we'll change to clear water with no soap added. Sorry about the poor the camera quality there, but this is just hot water with no soap added to it for another 10 minutes or so. And that's to remove any remaining residue, uh, but also to remove the soap. And this again is going to be a trial and error for you, and it's also going to depend on the fleece. You might need just one rinse, one clear water rinse. You might need two, you might need three, if you got a little heavy handed with the soap. And if you did do that, you might find that a, a good splash of a, a plain white vinegar to one of the rinse waters will help cut that soap and get it clean. Now this fleece, it only took that one rinse. We got the soap out and the fleece is clean, and now we'll lay it, lay it out to air dry. And that is how I wash wool. Do you have any questions for me?
All right, so I've showed you how to wash a few small locks of fleece. And of course you can just make that into a larger project. But a few of them you might be asking, or maybe you have a fleece that has really tacky tips like this one does. Now this one is just moisture and dirt, it's not manure. And this will pretty much come out. You saw it in the samples that I did, even after the cold water soak. But if you were nervous about it, or you wanted to be sure that you did, oh, there's a little second cut. <laughs> this is a little piece of leather right here. And normally this could sit on your lap or on a table. I'm going to try to do this slow so it doesn't get too fuzzy. This, maybe I'll insert a picture. And this is a really old one. This is what's called a flicker. And it's basically for opening up locks, especially the tips. Let's see if I can do this without knocking over the camera. So you're going to hold the tips and you just, you kind of bounce it is the best way that I can think of to tell you. Are you seeing that okay? Then kind of flip it over and do that again. Um, you can do it right against the leather, but of course you don't want to scratch the leather too bad. And you certainly don't want to get this scraped against your skin. So, I'm probably wiggling, aren't I? <laughs> the, the joys of filming all by yourself. Now that's not even a very good job, but it gives you the idea. And can you see, let's see, see the little dirty tips that are left there? You can pull those off by hand too, um, but they probably won't open quite as well. You risk making little pills when you do this, but it does open it up. And I also want to show you that, remember our trusty dollar store dog combs or pet rakes? We'll do the same thing with less danger to you because they're not quite so sharp. But can you see them kind of opening that tip up? There, now you see. And look at that. And that's just some dirt and mud. Let me show you again. So that's what that tip looks like now. And that's what it looked like before. Light's not very good, is it? Here, so a before flicking it open and an after, and then it will just wash up even nicer. But it is a lot of work, a lot of an extra step, and you guys saw from the sample or the little washing video that I showed you before, how well these actually do come out. So, see some of the dirt and mud coming out of there. So that's um, opening up the tips. So if you have one that's really super muddy or, or compacted, and you know, if it's a longer staple, you could cut it off. There's no nothing saying you can't. So, Okay, so not the best um, filming to show you, but you get the idea, I think. There, so then you can see just straight off of the sheep, and you see the tips. You see, this is after the tip has been flicked open with some kind of a comb or the flicker brush. That really opened up a lot of the dirt. 
and then here it is washed. I washed some after I opened it up the other day. And you can see there's still a little bit left in there, like that's a little piece, a little seed head of some kind. It's not even dirt. See? So another step to the process, maybe more than you want to do, but maybe maybe you want to experiment with that and see if you like doing that, if you like the end result better than you do just washing without opening them up. You know, try try each. See what makes you the most happy. So I hope this little bit, although not professionally shot or edited, might help you and give you an idea of, of what you can do in washing your own fleece and preparing your own fleece. Uh, do you already do these steps? Is it something you haven't seen before or something you want to try? Love to hear your feedback. And thanks, as always, for watching.